Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital. Strategy and tactics quick tip. So today, today is going to be kind of an unusual episode because, uh, well, today we're going to be focusing on machine rooms. Now, when I say machine rooms, I basically mean what I say. It's it's essentially any room that has a an item in it that counts as a machine, something that is used, something that can be upgraded, something that uh, can receive damage and need repair. Uh, but these rooms come in a variety of flavors, from the uh, all uh, all encompassing pharmacy uh, to some of the uh, uh, diagnostics uh, uh, pieces out there to the more uh, disease specific. Uh, um, clinics. Uh, but all of them share a couple of things in common with each other. So basically what I'm going to do is rather than do a video for every single machine room in the game, because well, that would take me a couple of weeks, um, I'm going to do a video on one machine room and teach you all general philosophy and design aesthetic, as well as a few tips about how to use and upgrade your machine room properly. Right then, so uh, we're going to use the Humble Pharmacy as sort of our, our guinea pig here. Um, so the pharmacy, uh, basically, unless you have some extra room to burn, you generally only ever need the minimum size. Now, the minimum size is going to be different depending on what it is you're building, but whatever it is you're building, go for the minimum unless you've got some freebie squares that aren't going to be useful otherwise. Um, now, as far as the door placement, that's also going to vary uh, depending on the, uh, on what you're building, because the most important thing and my first tip to you is to take a look at the machine itself. Uh, now, you'll notice here when you when you mouse the machine over sort of the footprint of the door, you'll see, obviously, it will turn red because you can't put it there. But what's more important is you'll see those see those two little black footprints. That's what's important. That will tell you on any given machine where the. Um, uh, uh, the, the different characters will stand, uh, uh, the doctor and the patient. Now, it doesn't explicitly label these feet are the patients, these feet are the doctors, but we can see from here that the, the one with the knob on it, that's for the doctor. The one without the knob is for the patient. Um, if you're unsure, well, just place it and then you can always re you can always move it and flip it if you, uh, if you got it backwards. But what's important here is that we put the uh, uh, patient's feet with a minimum distance from the door here. Uh, we can do that in a number of different ways. We could stick it over here. Um, we could also flip the door over here, get the drug mixer over here, and uh, get the uh, get the, the machine over here. Either way you, f you flip it, it's, it's, it's there so that the patient doesn't have to walk very far. This is about as far as the patient would have to walk to the seat in the... Uh, in the um, Milton GP's office. Now, another aspect that's extremely important is the placement of other items. And I'm not talking about medicine cabinets, although yes, medicine cabinets are are a, a, a thing that you want to be placing. No, what I'm referring to is the accoutrement. The, the, the other little items in the room that a doctor might use. And there's two different reasons why we want those. But we're going we're gonna to give them the full gamut. We're going to give them a coffee maker. Um, and what you want to do is keep in mind, just as you're trying to position the patient's feet to the door, you're trying to position these things to the doctor's feet. Because the doctor is going to be hanging out around here and just generally doing their thing. Um, but you want them to be near their station whenever the patient is ready for them. So I'm going to put them like here, like here. Um, now, one other item, a very humble, you buy it with kudosh, it's very cheap. I think it's like 20 kudosh. Um, the chair. This one right here, extremely important. And not because it increases comfort. We don't care about that. What we care about is that you can have the doctor pop a squat right here on this chair, and they'll be ready to rock and roll as soon as uh, as soon as they get up from there. So the chair can aid in your doctor's uh, sticking around the important part. Now, once you've placed these things, and of course, um, if needed, a temperature corrector. The temperature corrector does not necessarily need to be anywhere in particular, wherever you can fit it. Um, heck, we can throw a hand sanitizer in here while we're at it, uh, talking about the Dr. Accoutrement. Um, the other item we're going to want, and this one's going to want, we're going to want this near the door, an extinguisher, if we can fit it. 
Uh, let me scooch these over. Just a smidge of meter. Because an extinguisher near the door, very important. Very, very important. Just in case, just in case the catches fire, especially on earthquake levels, you just in case. Right then. Now, with all the rest of the available space, then you're going to want to break out your medicine cabinets and see what you can do with them. Um, here, I think we might be able to get away with uh, scooching you. Oops, nope. Don't be afraid to use your friend the uh, the control key uh, to do more fine-tuned movements. See how we got that even closer? And now we can probably fit in some medicine cabinets. Not reachable, huh? Hmm. All right, well, we can do this the hard way then. Eh. The medicine cabinets, honestly speaking, are not nearly as important as they were with the uh, GP's office. I mean, it's nice. They'll help your treatment levels, and that can help uh, stave off some deaths. Um, but it's not necessarily as hypercritical um, to jam every single one uh, humanly possible. All right, there. We got that many in. And of course, to boost the prestige level, our friend the gold star, at least one on each side. Uh, I'm going to just bring it to level four. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it to level four. Viola. Now, the, um, the, the pharmacy is good now, but it, it needs some help. Because, yeah, each of these medicine cabinets only gives you plus one to uh, uh, to the uh, percentage uh, boost to, to the treatment chances. Uh, and obviously a well-skilled nurse in there will help that even further. But the one benefit to machine rooms, which is also a drawback, is the fact that, well, there's machines. You can upgrade machines. Uh, every single machine upgrade usually comes with a 25% boost in whatever that machine does. For treatment machines, it gives them plus 25% treatment power. For diagnostic machines, it gives them plus 25% extra diagnostic power. Either way, very, very hypercritical. Um, now, here's, here's the trick, though. When you upgrade, obviously it costs some money, that's fine, and you're going to need a janitor with the uh, um, with the mechanics skill. Obviously, having higher levels of the mechanics skill would certainly be preferable. Uh, but let's just say, for example, you're 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 running a, a well-oiled machine. You got a lot of patients flowing through. Your your pharmacy is pretty darn busy. Um, so shutting that all down and and you know making the queue just stand there for a long time for over a month, because this is uh, estimating a uh, uh, an upgrade time of about 37 days, that's, that's not going to be good. You're going to get some people who are not going to be too happy with you. Their health is going to decline. There's, there's a number of downsides to upgrading. But the longer-term downsides to not upgrading are worse, because you will have lower cure rates, lower treatment rates, and higher death rates. Um, so you do want to upgrade things as much as possible. Uh, so here's my tip for you. For rooms that, um, that need to be operational continuously, build a temporary sister room. Right next door or, or somewhere nearby. Doesn't even have to be pretty. Doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, I'm just going to do the bare bones minimum here. I'm not going to bother with anything else. It's just blah. So now... The other thing you can do is, now the room that you're upgrading, click on it here, and you can close it. Now, closing the room prevents um, a, a GP from sending a uh, patient to this room specifically for treatment. It prevents a nurse from deciding, oh, there's a there's a pharmacy. I need to work there. She knows not to, she or he knows not to um, go into here. But it does not prevent your mechanic from going in and doing their thing. The mechanic knows that, hey, a closed room doesn't apply to me. So they're going to go in there and start banging away. And oh, by the way, way we have a backup now it's not that good of a backup it's not that great of a backup at all um but 
you can still get throughput on your pharmacy patients or whatever patients uh, that you're working on while you do the upgrade. And when you once they finish level one, just keep the temp up and go for level two. No reason not to to get yourself max level upgrades with everything. Uh, now the other thing to note is level twos uh, take significantly longer to uh, upgrade than the level ones, and that's for a reason, and that's all the more reason that you want to shutter these rooms while you're upgrading them so that nobody tries to get in there um, and you know build yourself a temp uh, uh, alternative now some some rooms you might not eat you might be able to get away without even doing the temp like for example the diagnostic rooms if you've got a wide enough variety of diagnostic rooms elsewhere in the hospital you can afford to shutter one of them and the gps will send people to other places um, to get their diagnostics uh, while this room gets uh, gets worked on. So that is that, my friends, is my my suggestions and tips for the machine rooms. So yeah, finish level one. Let's go for level two. And of course, don't forget to uh, do your research to unlock those upgrades if you uh, find yourself unable to. So if you guys. Um, like this uh, tip and you like this video and you want to see more like it go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment good bad or indifferent uh your feedback's always welcome and of course if you know somebody who's struggling in the game and could use these tips feel free to share the um, uh, spreading the word is always helpful um so until next time this has been pinstar signing out see ya <laughs>